Hey creators, Nina here. So watermarks, you're doing it wrong. People are taking way too long to create watermarks on their images, videos, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna teach you three different ways, that's six, so let's just do three. Three different <laughs> ways to create watermarks. The first is gonna be the simple, quick and easy way if you just wanna do it and be done. The second way is gonna be if you have multiple um, images that you want to be done a certain way. The third way is if you have a lot, like a ton, like you always do this, and or if you have an Etsy shop and you need to always add watermarks. You ready? Let's go. All right, so I just created a regular like Instagram post, for example, here. So I'm gonna do the normal way that everybody's probably teaching you, right? You get your photo, let's grab a photo. This is me of Sh me and Sean. Oh, my phone. Aww. Okay, so we have an image here. You want to actually add your logo. And actually in this case, I'm gonna use something else. Let's do what I have here, actually. Okay, so I have Zoom. So we're gonna use that as a logo. And so you can either put it in the corner. This is gonna be super duper easy, right? I'm gonna just go ahead and resize it and so like this, just to make the transparency, you don't want it to kind of stand out that much, right? So when you do it this way, this is just saying, hey, this is whose photo it is. It's, it's probably not something that you care about if people steal or not. Now, if you want people not to steal it, another way to do that is to put it this way. And I would probably just do it like this, right? And you may want to make it a little more transparent, whatever. It's still there, people can't really take it, put it over the important parts, right? So let me teach you one other way before I move to something else. Another way that you can do it is I usually use elements and lines, right? And you can do this. I'm just gonna take this and move it so it's like diagonal and you're gonna want to make, and there's probably like an X or something that we can use in here, but I'm gonna make this semi-transparent again so you can see it but not not really and actually let's change this to gray just in case you didn't know in um, Canva when you use lines there's different line types so you can make the line weight a little bit heavier right the type of line you can make dots whatever the end and the beginning super duper helpful feature this should be fine so I'm gonna use control D which duplicates this line and so I can just do this and you can actually just drag it longer and I would keep on doing this. Okay, before I move on, you do want to actually do a cross because you want to make sure that people can't steal your images, right? So I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to take this and I am just going to flip it the other way and we're going to do this on all the way across, right? And I probably would have made it like a lot more transparent, but you can do things like this. I'm not gonna finish this, I just wanna show you that you can do different shapes. You can do it with this, you can do it with circles, you can add your logo, whatever. The whole point of this is so people don't steal your image, okay? So that's another way to do it, just when you have like one quick image that you want to add a watermark. Now, let's show you, I wanna show you if you have multiple photos that you're gonna be making a watermark on, I would suggest, we'll use the same Instagram post, create the watermark first and then don't add the photos yet. So mm. let's look at, and just in case you guys didn't know, there's this thing called Brand Fetch. Um, I think I created a video on it. I don't know if it's up yet, but I'm gonna show you guys. So let's act like we are, now let's say we're Spotify today, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go back. We don't need anything else besides this. Same thing, but if I know that I have multiple images, I'm just gonna resize it in the middle, make it semi-transparent, right? And maybe make it a little bit bigger if this is your logo. Maybe make it a little bit more transparent. Okay. What's great about this is now we can duplicate this image over and over again, and then anytime you need to do it, you just drag your image in it. So let me, Explain. So I'm just gonna duplicate, 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 right? So if you have like five images, you do it five times. And so then let's have your uploads or your images. So what you're gonna do is just drag this to the background, right? Now this works when um, you kind of, you may wanna test it with one before you duplicate it, but because maybe we want this a little bit darker, right? 
But what's great about this is that now you can just um, grab your photos. I'm gonna click on this first, right? And then make sure it's clicked to the background. I could right click and set as background image. Just a little tip for you guys if you haven't used that before. And so now you have your watermark on all of it. So that's a lot easier than creating it over and over and over again. So let me go ahead and show you. This is, if I had an Etsy shop or if I was using this all of the time, one thing I would do is create a watermark as an image and then just reuse that all the time. So I am, I have a regular Instagram um, image up here or a square image basically. I'm gonna go down to my folders, go down to shared with you and your logos if you set up your Canva. Um, your logo should be here. So I have my logo here. Let's just use this one, right? So I actually do multiple logos when I do Etsy items, right? So um, I do them back to back and I have some like all kinds of shapes in there. So I'm gonna do this and then make it semi-transparent. Remember the way I'm doing it is just if you don't want anyone to steal your images. So I'm gonna do this. Control D to duplicate it a million times. And then I just move them all around, right? And what you're doing is basically creating a template so you can use with your images. And it doesn't actually, I would actually make this a lot bigger than an Instagram square just because you can use it on any image, right? But for now, we'll do this. And if you want, you can do something like an element, like a dotted line or a, let's do circles, right? You wanna do this in the middle. You would wanna make it, you don't wanna take it from the image, but you know, it just depends. You do this or lines or whatever, right? For this, I'm just gonna leave it as my logo. Okay, so when you download it, you're gonna download it with a transparent background. And then you're basically just going to upload it back to Canva. So let's do this to my downloads. You're gonna upload it back to Canva so you have it in your brand kit. So I'm gonna go back, go to my brand kit for logos. You just go back and upload it as a logo. So when you create a new design, again, Instagram post because you know, why not? Um, and then you have your photos. So you're gonna upload your photos, whatever it is. Let's go ahead and pick this. I have no idea what it is. Right click, let's set it as a background. Then we are gonna go down to our folders, shared with you, go to your logos. And now you have dun, 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 your watermark that you've actually created. Isn't that cool? I actually just thought about doing it that way today when I was recording the video. I was like, oh, this is cool, right? So, and then now you don't have to do this each time you have a new video. Hopefully you like that. I didn't want to give you guys the same old tip that everybody else was giving you, but let me know. Do you like tips like this? Do you want more tips like this? Bye. Oh, don't forget to watch my other Canva videos and other, I talk about other stuff, you guys, besides Canva. Like there's, you know, TikTok and Instagram. I actually have YouTube videos. Like I teach YouTube, like all that kind of stuff. But y'all love Canva, y'all love, love Canva. All right, peace.